Hey guys, welcome back to another Battlefront 2 Hero Guide. Today, we're doing the last light side lightsaber hero to be covered, which is Obi-Wan, who is a defensive powerhouse who can attack anyone and anything at any time. To help you improve with Obi-Wan, I'll be going over stats, abilities, tips, star cards, and more. If you want to skip ahead to any of these parts, you can by looking at the timestamps on this video. Quickly though, if you enjoy this video, then make sure to leave a like so it helps the video do better and to subscribe so you don't miss any more of these videos. But now getting into the video. Obi-Wan has good defensive stats, but not the strongest stats for attacking, so that can considerably change how you play him. Obi-Wan has the average 750 health and a high legion of 300, which isn't crazy good until you equip the star card that changes the legion to 400. Obi-Wan does 130 damage with his lightsaber he crafted himself and 150 damage to the back, which is a normal amount and perfectly sufficient. He can attack a low 10 times, but then can block an insane amount of 25 times. Along with that, Obi-Wan can block lots of blaster bolts and deflect them back at enemies with extreme accuracy. Obi-Wan's left ability is all-out push. Obi-Wan pushes back his attackers using the force. Uncharged, it does 170 to non-heroes and 150 damage to heroes. Then when you fully charge it up, it does 200 damage to non-heroes and 180 damage to heroes, which makes it pretty much the strongest push in the game. Obi-Wan has 80% damage reduction when using this ability, so he can take very little damage. It can reach up to a long 22 meters and takes 1.2 seconds to charge up. Another great part about this ability is that it has only a 14 second cooldown. For my keynotes, know when to charge it up and when not to. This is pretty simple, but make sure you're not always charging it up. Say there's just a group of enemies right next to you, then you want to do that quick damage to finish them off quickly and to not give them a chance to escape, but mostly against troopers you're going to want to charge it up. But then against heroes you don't want to charge it up, so lightsabers can't put up their block. This ability doesn't seem like the best push to deal damage against heroes, but it can still be very good. First off, the 150 damage is a good bit, plus when you don't charge it up, the push isn't long, so a lot of the time you can get a follow up hit or push your target to a teammate. Overall, you just need to know when to use this ability and when to use anything else. Kenobi's middle ability is Restrictive Mind Trick. Obi-Wan prevents his enemies from using their abilities through a mind trick, so people that are in range can no longer use abilities for 5.5 seconds. The range of it is 20 meters and it has a pretty good cooldown of 21 seconds. It's a useful ability that can make it hard for your opponents to attack you. This is another great tool to be more defensive. It works well in all situations. It's great in 1v1s to recover health, stamina, and other abilities or give you a chance to attack. It's also helpful in trooper game modes around objective areas to limit the ability spam of the other team and limit their heroes. It can really make a big difference. The last ability is Defensive Rush. While it's great for being defensive, you can inflict some serious damage with it. Obi-Wan rushes at his enemies deflecting blaster shots and dealing damage to them. Along with that, he can do one final powerful swing. It does 140 damage, which isn't enough to one-shot infantry, but you can upgrade that damage with star cards. The last strike does 60 damage, and it has a short cooldown of 10 seconds. For my keynotes, try to zigzag and do sharp turns to hit enemies from the back. If you turn quickly while using Rush, you can hit people in the back and it will be very hard for them to block it if you do it right. So always try to do this and you can do a lot of damage to lightsabers. Also try to hit the final swing, the extra damage is nice. Obi-Wan is similar to Kylo Ren who was my last hero guide I did, mainly in the fact that he is a great all around character. He can defend and attack, play any objective, and will be great in any short or long range map. Once you figure out Obi-Wan's playstyle, it's hard not to do good. My first tip is to find a good defensive position. You can do good attacking, but you don't want to be going all out unlike other heroes. You will also be most useful defending. So of course you don't want to be sitting in the back of the map, but be with the objective and defend against any threats. As I went over in the abilities, each one of Obi-Wan's abilities are great for defending and protecting his teammates. So along with this, Obi-Wan's playstyle is as far away from hit and run as possible. You want to stand your ground with lots of stamina and lots of health regen, then have your abilities help you out. So try to stand your ground, but of course, don't make stupid decisions. 
in my mind, Obi-Wan easily has the best trooper game mode loadout. The first card is Jedi Resilience. It increases Kenobi's maximum health regen. The extra regen is massively important for his defensive playstyle. The next card is Quick and Focus. The charge up of all out push is quicker. This increases the use of this ability a lot. The final card is Forward. It allows defensive rush to do more damage. This is another card that makes this ability way better since you can one shot people. As I mentioned earlier, Obi-Wan is great on a lot of maps, but in my opinion, the first best map is Endor. He is perfect for attacking on this map. Next is Death Star 2. Obi-Wan can get crazy multi-kills in the tight hallways. The last map is Naboo. I have to put it for pretty much every hero since it's so good. Obi-Wan is also amazing against other heroes. He can be such a hard kill with his legion and stamina, yet he can also do serious damage with his abilities and regular attacks. Obi-Wan has a very similar hero playstyle against heroes as he does to infantry. Stand your ground and wait for your opportunity to attack. Because Obi-Wan's playstyle is very similar from trooper game modes to hero game modes, the star cards are similar, so you need to keep Jedi Resilience in forward. The last card is Perfect Defense, which gives Kenobi more defending stamina. He already has a lot of stamina, but it's the best card to help him out in these modes. Obi-Wan doesn't have many heroes he needs to watch out for, since he can disable abilities and block any attacks that come his way, except of course for Vader. All he needs to do is get in one good choke. The next hero would be Grievous, because similar to Vader, he can do a lot of damage. The last hero is Dooku. Obi-Wan can block against other things, but it's hard to defend against good lightsaber skills. But that is all for my Obi-Wan hero guide. I hope you learned a lot and can now play him better, or you just enjoyed the video. I know this video is a bit shorter, but I feel like I'm just repeating all the same tips from my other guides, but that should change once I start doing the blasters. See you next time. Bye.